194 lives have been lost because of the floods. Those are too many lives. We want to prevent any further loss of life in our country. In fact, we have lost more lives to floods within a shorter time than we have to the COVID-19. That's why we came to Tana River today to meet the leadership on the ground. And we're here, both levels of government, to engage, to see how we can prevent any further loss of life to floods and to COVID-19. Yesterday, we issued a second alert that the flood situation is likely to worsen, particularly in the counties of Garissa and Tana River, because all our dams are full. CS Keter yesterday confirmed that Masinga Dam was at its all-time high of 1057.8 meters above sea level. Tangu Masinga Dam ijengwe haijawai ja kiasich. What does that mean? Masinga ikija mabwa haya yote maji hayo sio hata kusema inafunguliwa maji hayo yana spillover. Hayo maji yanaenda wapi? Kwanza Garissa pili hapa Tana River. So as of this morning wakati tumepima tumepata just overnight since CS Keter issued the alert yesterday. The Masinga water levels have risen to 1058 overnight in a matter of a few hours. So we are happy that so far we have not lost lives in Garissa and in Tana River. Other parts of Kenya, in Nyanza, Western, in Rift Valley, you heard of the landslides in Elgeo Marakwet, the landslides in West Pokot. We have lost 194 lives. So we are here to ask you as leaders, please evacuate our people because the water levels of River Tana are rising. More people are going to be displaced. More property will be lost. And we do not wish to hear of loss of life in this part of the country. Already we are happy that uh, in Garissa evacuation has gone on. We have been able to visit several camps. Today we are in Tana River. We are happy to hear from you, the leaders, that you are evacuating the people. But those who are still in the way of danger, as C.S. Matiangi said yesterday, kama serikali, kwanza kulinda maisha, pili mali ya wananchi wa Kenya. So wale wote ambao hawajahama ama bado wanajikokota tuataka tuwahamishe ili tusipoteze maisha tena. Wale wamehama na wako kwenye kambi. Leo tunawatembelea kuhakikishia watapata chakula support from the government ya chakula. Nimepokea report hapa na nashukuru sana ya kwamba wa teams Kile chakula tulileta mumekigawa. Jana nime launch the second round of relief food. So we have more food coming. Tuataka chakula hiki kiweze kufikia wale wameathirika. Na kiwasaidie. Na sio chakula tu pia tuataka wapate majisafi. And uh, county secretary we are asking that the county also to step up the support. Yeah, clean water. As we bring food, clean water must also be supplied to the victims of these floods. If we can resume the water tracking we are doing, najua nilikuwa hapa wakati ule na nika fry sana kuona county, serikali ya county menunua water bowsers mpia. Na hata kulikuwa na boats pia. Tuataka tutumie kila rasilimali tulionayo. Kama serikali kuu na serikali ya county tuwakoe maisha. Na our president has said no effort should be spared or no resource. Kama ni ndege mnahitaji, tunahakikisha ndege itakuja hapa, wanasena to airlift this food to the areas ambazo umenieleza, ili tuakishi hito chakula kimefika, e, kule daba, umesema titila, waldena, tuataka pamba, na sawera, tuweze kufikisha chakula hicho. So tukitoka hapa, our first report ni kwamba ile ndege ilikuwa hapa, irudi na yendele na hiyo kazi. That we are going to do. But also all our state departments. The president has said no resource should be spared. So NDMA, 
zile boat KWS iko nazo tutataka Red Cross zile boats ziwe availed to the rescue team tuhakikishe wale hawajahamishwa waweke kwa boat wahamishwe ili wafike pahala salama tuweze kuwaletea chakula tuwape maji sababu ya corona pia tumesema kwa kila kambi tuataka masks zipeane the county commissioner Tanariva tumekuwa na county commissioner uh, Garissa kule Garissa walikuwa wamepeana hizi barakoa sijui kama hapa wamepeana nataka tufike kwa camp we want all victims pia wapewe hizi ili tukiweka eh, wakiwa na kinga eh, kutoka kwa mafuriko pia wawe na kinga dhidi ya covid 19 and this we have said we have now enough kule Garissa tumesema tunapeleka 1200 ya mass priority peanwe kwa zile familia ambao wameathirika sababu tusipochunga hizo camps kule kambini tunaweza kuwa na shida kubwa sana tunaweza sema Tana River e, hatujasikia numbers za uh, corona lakini kupitia hizi camps maji ya damu ya masinga haijawahi kufika pale imefika na imeachiliwa juzi nyinyi mnaitarajia kuanzia kesho kutwa kwenda mbele so usi usiseme hadi nubi wengine watatoka watoke kitu ya pili tafadhali wakati mnafanya mabiashara zenu muache ile distance hakuna soko imefungwa soko ya ngombe haijafungwa mfanye soko yenu sawa sawa nimesema hiyo kama amri kutoka ofisi ya rais ya tatu bwana DCC mtu akitaka kuhama mwanahamisha na nguvu waziri ataeleza nyinyi ni watu wangapi tumepoteza katika Kenya hii kwa ajili ya floods mara tatu inne ya ile watu walikufa na corona ya inne iko maradhi mabaya yanaitwa covid 19 hata vile mumesimama inatakiwa unajua sisi tumezoea tunaachana steps hata nyinyi muachane e, mambo ya kwenda hati sisi lazima tufuturu pamoja tuswali tarawe swali kwa nyumba yako Mungu anakuona na anakusikia Wakristo waliachana na mambo ya pasaka ajili ya maradhi hii. Na si hapa peke yake. Msikiti mkubwa Alkaba umefungwa, msikiti wa Mtume Madina umefungwa. Sasa si nini sasa lazima sisi tungangane. Ame atoke kule sababu maji mvua bado itazidi na maji bado yatazidi kudhuru watu wetu. Kufikia sasa wale wa Kenya wamepoteza maisha yao ni 194 wamepoteza maisha yao kwa ajili ya mafuriko. Na kama hatuwezi tukahamisha watu wetu na maji yaendelee kuja ni wengi zaidi tutawapoteza. Na hata kwa janga hili la mafuriko tumepoteza watu wengi kuliko janga la corona. Kwa hivyo tukitoa tahadhari kwa mambo ya corona tutataka pia tuhakikishe ya kwamba tumehamisha wale wote wako karibu na mto Tana na mito nyingine kama Nyando na Budalangi kule mto Nzoia. Hilo ndio jambo limetuleta hapo. Kuhakikisha ya kwamba mkiwa hapa kwenye kambi hii kwanza kuwe na chakula cha kutosha. Mheshimiwa MCA niko hapa kuhakikishia kama waziri anayehusika na mambo ya special programs tuna chakula cha kutosha na serikali kuu itaendelea kuwaletea chakula hadi mvua ikwishe na hali rejee kwa sawa. Na tunajua hata baada ya mvua kwisha wataalamu wanasema mwezi ujao mvua itakwisha. Tunajua wengi mepoteza nyumba zenu, wengi mepoteza mifugo yenu, wengi mepoteza mimea yenu kwa mashamba. Lakini tuwasema ya kwamba kama ni mambo ya nyumba tunaweza leta mabati tujenge nyumba nyingine. Kama ni mimea tunazoshirikiana na serikali ya county tuweze kuleta mbegu tulete mbolea tupande mimea mingine kama ni barabara ama daraja imebomoka tunaweza jenga nyingine lakini uhai tukipoteza hata mtu mmoja hapa Tana River County hatuna uwezo kurudisha huo uhai tuko pamoja hiyo ndio sababu mheshimiwa rais ametutuma hapa tuhakikishe kupitia county commissioner wetu na wale wakuu wa serikali ya county ya kwamba watu wetu wote wako salama hadi msimu huu wa mvua uweze kuisha. Pili tuhakikishe kupitia machifu wetu. 
ya kwamba tukigawa chakula hiki kwenye kambi hizi barakoa kila mmoja wenu aweze kuwa na maski yake tuko pamoja nimeona kuna wengine mko naye wengine hamuna tume bwana disi si yako wape tumesema tunataka watu wetu wote walio kambini kila mmoja wao apewe hii mask ili aweze kujikinga na huu ugonjwa wa corona tuko pamoja na hii ni ile unaweza osha yani iko reusable na tumetoka Garissa county kule pia kwa zile camp zote tumekuwa tumeambia county commissioner kule Garissa kuna karibu barakoa 1200 wapeane kwanza kwenye camp ni wapeane katika location zingine na hata Tanariva hapa pia tutataka wafanye hivyo hivyo pili tuko na sanitizer wapi hiyo 